Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. Today we're just going to look over the Gerber Prodigy, designed by legendary knife maker and designer Jeff Freeman. This particular knife is uh, an excellent value that Gerber puts out. Um, it's just, uh, for the money, you can usually get it between $40 to $50 on the uh, street price, uh, secondary markets, uh, even like Amazon um, and eBay. Very excellent price. Uh, you get a lot of features. Uh, this is an older one, one of the original ones that when I got it, it was uh, made with the uh, Sandvik 12C27 steel. The newer ones use the 420HC high carbon steel. So uh, some people like uh, the Sandvik more than the 420HC. Uh, I personally like the Sandvik myself. So um, so this is what I would consider a budget uh, high value tactical fixed blade. Uh, without a doubt. Um, there's a lot of features here that um, we're just going to take a quick peek at and see what we um, see what we have. Overall, um, the uh, the knife itself um, is uh, 9.75 inches and the uh, blade is 4.75 inches. The, uh, the knife alone out of the sheath is 7.2 ounces. It is a full tang knife and uh, we have a uh, a rubber over molded handle here as you can see it's very very grippy uh, the ballistic nylon here on the sheath is fairly uh, heavy duty it does have some straps here to be, I think it's going to be molly compatible and I haven't tried it myself but I think I believe it is it has these tool two uh, double retention straps with uh, very good snaps it has this uh, rubber rubber over molded uh, sheath here it's a very quiet it's a very quiet sheath and it has a leg straps that it comes with and this is just a belt that i usually wear with it so after you take this these uh these straps off you actually have a third retention and as you can see right here as you're pulling it out you lift it up a little bit and it comes out of this notch and the sheath and once again it's very quiet coming out this is what the blade looks like it's a drop point and this is the combo edge made in Portland, Oregon, USA. I don't mind serrations on this type of knife because uh, you're going to be doing utility types of uh, activities as well as uh, defensive. It's got a pretty stout blade, nice strong tip. Has a good place to put your thumb to lock yourself in, both on the rear and on the forward. Has a lanyard hole and this, uh, this spike, um, I don't know if you would want to call it a skull crusher uh, generically, but uh, that's probably what it is. Or you could uh, use it as a pommel to strike things and break things open if this was ever forced into the role of a survival knife, which it could probably do some rolls, but it's definitely not meant to be, I don't think, a full-on survival knife. And definitely it's not a bushcraft knife. Um, so uh, you have some ridges here. And ridges up here, smooth right here, but it's still grippy though. I mean, this is this is a rubber over molded, so that's kind of what it is, how it looks. Um, I do have just a few more items I'd like to um, to show you while we have this out, just to compare it. We have the Spyderco Tenacious, just in comparison, and I'll put that right here. Uh, just to try to show you some size relations because sometimes you know in reviews it's a little hard to get a to get a handle on what things look like and here's a um you know a double a battery put that right next to the blade you can kind of get get a feel for that and um and then lastly i i have a uh, just a traditional bic round stick medium pin and I'll put that right next to it as well. As you can see that in relationship. So it's not a small knife, but it's definitely not a big knife. Um, so just wanted to show you this knife. Uh, I've had this for many years and I keep it in one of my packs. And I was just kind of going through the pack and saw it. And I was like, you know what? I haven't reviewed this. And it still seems to be a fairly popular knife, and I think it still goes for around the $40 to $50 mark. Excellent deal, guys. Even in the 420HC, 
I don't think it's the it's the totally the worst deal out there. Um, it's definitely a, a lower end, but um, if you can find this so the older models like this and the Sandvik, it's a, I think it's a, it's a little bit better steel for sure. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll have many new videos out coming real soon. Thanks a lot.